right now I'm making a patch panel for a guy that I built and it's for hydraulics inside of a car it's with a switch panel it covers the all the wiring and everything and he dropped on something on it and bent it so I'm making a new panel and he gave me a drawing which was uh, it was semi clear but uh, this is nine and three quarter or nine and a half by four and there's three dimple dies. There's an inch and three quarter, and then a quarter, inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter, evenly spaced. And then there's uh, pop rivets that go in here. And uh, this is the way I lay things out. I'm pretty sure that everybody does something different. And I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way. This is just the way I learned. I'm sure there's a faster, easier way. But uh, I was just going to show you that. All right. So half of nine and a half is uh, four and three quarters so we'll go ahead and do our center line I like to lay all my holes out before I even put a single uh, center punch or anything mark in it I also use the sharpie ultra fine point these are good but they wear out very quickly because any kind of oil so you gotta clean this up and get all your oil off it uh, I'll make that mark now that's my center line. Now I will go do my center line for my this way, which is four, so half of four is two. And I'll go ahead and line that out. And uh, and it was said that it was three inches from center of this hole there. those lines and then I can just put this back together and do a bigger line up if I want. It's not really needed now. And then uh, eighth inch up for my pop rivet. So we'll go ahead and mark that out now too. No, it's three sixteen. Sorry, sorry, messed up. Okay, here we go. Okay, now those are all lined out. I can uh, I can center punch now. So let me get my center punch out. <clears throat> so since this is gonna be our center one, punch that one, that one, And then these are our pop rivet marks where these are going to go in. So these all tied in together so it made our, all our lines are going to be square with everything else. So we can line those out too. You can definitely tell I did the sheet metal on this. Everything's all square numbers. Uh, Alright, so now that's all lined out, all my holes are marked. Uh, all this Sharpie mark can just go away now because everything's marked out, ready to go. So I'm going to take you over to the Roper Whitney and we'll punch our eighth inch holes for the rivets. And uh, you can see me do that. Okay, now we're over here at the Roper Whitney. And I got an eighth inch punch in here. And uh, this is a number 16 Roper Whitney. It's pretty big for what we're doing here, but uh, it does good holes. But uh, the, uh, the rivets that we're using, you're supposed to have a number 30 drill bit. But I mean, we're not doing aircraft, so it's just a car. So an eighth inch 
is uh, sufficient for what we're doing. All right, well, let's uh, punch these out, and we can uh, get going. And there's your first hole. I'm going to go ahead and punch these out also while we're here because then the drill bit will find center a little bit easier on uh, my rotor brooches I'll show you in a second also that we're going to drill those out for you on the drill press. There's a little nub on the end of this that uh, finds a hole where your center punch is at. So you gotta move it around a little bit until you find that. Again. that. Formination around here, so that's nice. And uh, it's ready to go to the drill press, and we'll drill these out to an inch and three quarter, inch and a quarter, and then we'll uh, dimple down. Okay, now we're over to the drill press. We're gonna drill our holes. And, uh, We'll start with the center one, which is inch and three quarter. Okay. Now, since I started eighth inch hole already, it makes it towards a little bit easier. And when I'm drilling that far in, I like to put just a little clamp on here so that if it gets out of, if it gets a little western, I have an escape plan to get out of this thing. So, got my sage glasses on, put a little oil, probably not need it, do it anyways, and here we go. Go slow so that you're not bending the sheet metal. First hole. Now we can pull this out, place it, and my drill press sounds like it's about to die. That's what all the squeaking is. I think she's on her last leg. Next hole. stuck in here. Gotta try them out or it won't cut the next time. Right, last hole. Let's go over to the press and we'll dimple them. Alright, now we're out right here at the 
pressed and uh, I've gone through and I've deburred all the edges and all these holes just so that it's smooth to touch and you don't really, you're not going to cut yourself on it. Just something I always do. Sure, it's not really needed, but I like to do that. And then you need to decide which side you want to be your facing up. So I think I'm going to make this side just because sometimes when you press this way, the uh, when you're when you're drilling, you're drill I drill from this way, so the burrs were on this side if any. So I usually make this side the one that's going to touch the person. So uh, let's press this. I'm going to start with the center, which inch and, a inch and three quarter. And you got to watch. This is the side that's going to press the dimple down, and that's what I want facing up. So there, tight. And uh, keep it centered. First one. Put that up. take a body hammer to it and straighten that out and you'll never see it. This is 22 gauge so it's really thin stuff to be doing this with. And that's why it's bending but if you're working with this you should straighten it. You can straighten it back out. But uh, there's the three. So let's go and uh, take these out with the body hammer. Alright, I uh, call this panel done. Now it's time to take it to the paint guy and get it painted. So he's got to be back on the car by noon tomorrow, so 24 hours from now, which is get it all done. But uh, it was a fun little project, quick, easy, um, pretty straightforward. That's what that was nice, nice little Saturday project. But uh, hope someone found this useful and informational. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, just leave me at the comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.